Good morning. Previously, we showed that circular motion, when viewed from the side, is simple harmonic motion. Now we are going to derive a position equation for an object in simple harmonic motion. Flippin' physics. Let's look specifically at the location of a dot which is motion tracked to the top of the yellow marker cap. And let's pause the demonstration. We can find a relationship between several variables. First, we need to define them. R is the radius of the circular motion. X is the position of the cap in the X direction, assuming the center of the turntable is the center of our coordinate system. And theta is the angular displacement of the cap from an initial position where the cap was at its extreme position to the right. Cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, or the X position divided by radius. Multiplying the equation by radius gives us the X position of the cap equals radius times cosine theta. Our goal is to determine the position of the cap as a function of time, so we need to get time into the equation. Bobby, what is the equation for angular velocity? Angular velocity? I, I thought this was simple harmonic motion. Remember, we are relating simple harmonic motion to circular motion, so it must end up being useful somehow. Right. Uh... Angular velocity equals angular displacement over change in time. And delta always means final minus initial. In other words, angular velocity equals angular position final minus angular position initial divided by time final minus time initial. And if we let the initial angular position equal zero, the initial time equals zero, the final angular position equal theta, and the final time equal t, then theta equals omega times t, which we can substitute back into the equation for x position of the yellow marker cap in simple harmonic motion. Now, going back to the equation for angular velocity, what is the angular displacement in radians for one full turn of the turntable? That would be one revolution, so two pi radians. And Bo, what is the change in time for one full cycle called? Change in time for one full cycle is the period, capital T. And because frequency equals the inverse of the period, omega equals 2 pi times frequency, which we can substitute back into the equation for the x position of the yellow marker cap in simple harmonic motion. And we get the x position of an object in simple harmonic motion equals r times the cosine of the quantity, 2 pi times frequency times time. And also notice at the initial position, when time equals 0, this is the cosine of 0, which is 1. So the x position equals r. Relating that to simple harmonic motion, can anyone tell me what that quantity would be? Oh, that is the amplitude. Uh, right. The, the magnitude of the maximum displacement from equilibrium position is amplitude, capital A. In other words, the position as a function of time for an object in simple harmonic motion can be described by the expression amplitude times the cosine of 2 pi times frequency times time. Wow, wow that, that is okay. cool. Going back to the motion tracked dot on top of the yellow marker cap. Notice we can isolate just the horizontal motion of the motion tracked dot. This is the position in the x direction of the motion tracked dot. Now, I'm going to rotate the path that describes the x position of the motion tracked dot by 90 degrees. I'm doing this because the x position of the motion tracked dot will be on the vertical axis of the graph we are about to make. Again, remember the motion of this dot describes the x position of the yellow marker cap. And just like we did before, we can see this dot is moving in simple harmonic motion. And the path the dot creates if we look at where the dot is located as a function of time can be described by the equation. Position as a function of time equals amplitude times the cosine of the quantity 2 pi times frequency times time. We can even set up axes and draw the cosine graph. Notice how we have the same positions we identified before in simple harmonic motion. Positions 1 and 3 are the maximum magnitude displacement, or amplitude, and position 2 is at the equilibrium position. Why did you say can? S several times you said can be described by this expression, not is described by this expression. Why, why is that? Very nice observation, Bobby. Re realize 
The equation we just derived is the equation given on the AP Physics 1 equation sheet. However, this equation assumes the initial position of the object is at its maximum positive value. That does not always have to be the case, which is why sometimes you will see this equation given in terms of sine instead. Notice this sine equation only differs from the cosine equation due to the initial condition of the initial position at time t equals zero. At time equals zero, the sine of zero is zero, so the initial position is zero. So the sine equation can be used if the object starts at the equilibrium position and is moving to the right. Wait, what if it starts somewhere other than at the maximum displacement from equilibrium or, or at the rest position? What, what do we do then? Then you would need to use phi, the phase constant. The lowercase Greek letter phi is what is used to phase shift trig equations on the horizontal axis. I won't get into it much because the AP Physics 1 curriculum does not really concern itself with phi. However, realize sine and cosine have the same shape. It is just that sine is phase shifted to the right from cosine by 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians. Okay, now, I know they're equal to one another, but why did you use pi over 2 radians instead of 90 degrees? Oh yeah, that's right. So, remember during the derivation when we plugged in 2 pi radians for the angular displacement? Yes. That means we need to use radians for any angles in these simple harmonic motion equations. And... You need to make sure your calculator is in radian mode because the equations were derived using radians. Calculator in radian mode when using simple harmonic motion equations. Calculator in radian mode when using simple harmonic motion equations. Actually, let's go back to that part of the derivation for a moment. The omega in this equation is called angular frequency. Omega is the angular frequency of simple harmonic motion. Please notice, angular frequency omega and frequency lowercase f are not the same. Angular frequency equals 2 pi times frequency. Angular frequency is in radians per second, and frequency is in cycles per second, or hertz. So not the same thing. Oh, uh, hold on. One of these equations is kind of on our equation sheet. Uh, the AP physics equation sheet has period equals 2 pi over angular frequency, which is the same as what we derived. We derived angular frequency equals 2 pi divided by period. That That's the same thing. Can't we just copy that off the equation sheet? Sure, you could. However, knowing how to derive the equation for angular frequency of simple harmonic motion is very important for your understanding of the physics and helps you to remember the angular displacement used to derive the equations for simple harmonic motion uses radians and not degrees. And therefore, your calculator needs to be in radian mode when using the equations for simple harmonic motion. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.